morning. Hey guys, it's another day of Vlogmas. It's day five, and actually, it's day six. I'm getting my days all mixed up. Um, I gotta work this morning, so I have to make me some lunch. That's what I'm in the kitchen doing right now. I'm gonna make an um, easy veggie sandwich. Always easy, you know what I'm saying? Very quick. I don't take a whole, a whole hour today, so I have a short shift. Um, but I only have like 10 minutes to eat. That's, that's how long my break is. So I try to have something that I can just eat up really, really quick um, and try to get satisfied from. So right now I am cutting up, well, I'm gonna just kind of half this bread that I get from Sam's. I get like a whole bag of these, they're so good. I've kept it in the fridge, so that's why it's kind of sounding all like this and kind of hard looking, but, you know, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put some coconut butter or coconut oil. I like to call it butter because it's like butter. So, so good. This is the brand that I have. Take it and spread it on my bread. Coffee is ready. And then I just put it in the um, pan and let it get buttery and kind of toasty and it's so delicious. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna rinse these olives. This is um, also gonna be a little snack for me. I usually put a little container of olives, pop those in my mouth and they're so good and so filling. We got some oats. That's enough. That's usually how I pack my sandwich. So good. I usually uh, will do organic spring mix, but lately I've been really enjoying the spinach. I wrap my sandwich in some parchment paper. Lay my spinach on here just like this, guys. I usually take the skin off. You can leave it on, but I just like to look at my sandwich a lot better if I take it off and it's not as hard to eat it. Okay. And this is, you know, if you are replacing your meat. Um, you know, need to cut back on your meat. This is a great alternative to salami, cold cuts, and things like that for breakfast, lunch, or whatever. It's so easy and it's so healthy. And um, the calories, the only thing you're counting as far as for your calories is the bread. And if you're putting the sauce on, on there, so oh, that's why we love making veggie sandwiches. Bomb. Super the bomb. We're gonna add a little bit of Himalaya salt. A little bit of garlic. Sprinkle, sprinkle as much as you like. I like garlic, but I just go a little bit lighter on my sandwich. Um, some crushed red peppers. Some sauce. Italian dressing. So delicious. It's gonna marinate by the time I get to the sandwich. It's gonna be so doggone good, guys. For real, for real. You can add some veggie old cheese on there, but I don't like cheese. Even if it's vegan, I don't care for cheese. Lots of jalapenos. And uh, just lay it on there. You can add pickles, but I don't have any pickles right now. I'm not a pickle fan on my veggie sandwich, though. Um, my hamburger, like we had last night, the Morning Star Burgers. I do like pickles, but that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to whoa, fold my sandwich and I just kind of press it down a little bit and then I'm going to cut it. See how pretty it is? There we go. It's so good. And then we're going to fold it. The opposite end, like the envelope. And then we're going to wrap it. There we go. Perfect. Ooh. 
it is cold goodness i came outside without my coat i keep saying coat it's not coat but it's like um a little cardigan <clears throat> sweater type thing but it's perfect because it doesn't get that cold you know and so anyway hubby went back in the house to get it, and then he forgot something so that's what we're waiting on he's taking me to work this morning <laughs> You gotta say hey to people. Hey, good morning to the people. Hey, people. Good morning, people. So, where, what are you um, doing this morning? Uh, well, I gotta get you an oil change. Then I gotta go over to my mom's house and help her uh, move some heavy pots out to the garden because I don't want her heavy to hurt pots? her back. Oh, pots. Garden the, pots, um, yeah. Garden pots. Oh, okay. Um, and then I want to clean the car. And I figure by that time I'll be around 11, 11 30. Mm hmm. And then at that point, then you can come and get me because I get off early today. Yeah, that's me time until I come pick you up. So. Okay. I gotta get you first and then I'll get the Mm-hmm. Nice and toasty. Yep. Hey, we have to work on a cool intro video for uh for my channel. The uh I wanna do something kind of Christmassy. I got some suggestions. Some people uh, were saying that they want to see us, you know, do our little, uh, of course, do an intro, you know, showing who we are and all. Uh, Does any of this involve me making a fool out of myself? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got any ideas? <laughs> How do you can move, make a fool of yourself? Huh? Oh, I could dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do, you know how we did that, um, You guys were dancing. I was sitting Oh yeah, down. he was sitting down Talking enjoying a couple. He was enjoying a piece of pizza. A piece of pizza. A slice of pizza. And uh we had I don't know what that was gosh, that was so many years ago. It seemed like but he, we'll work on that because we do need some kind of intro since I'm gonna be vlogging this. What how many more days? Twenty seven? Twenty seven. Today's fifth or fourth? Fifth. Twenty-five more days, I think. No, twenty-six more days. Yeah. Do you like my lipstick? You kind of changed it a little bit. It's okay. It's very matte. So I need a little gloss. He likes me to gloss it up. So. Yeah, I I don't know. I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Cause my face kind of. I feel like my face filled out a little bit more. <laughs> since the holidays, since um Thanksgiving rather. This is not what I'm gonna use. Just a shimmering gloss. Just to give it a little bit of I think that's why my lips been kind of dry too. Ever since we did the chapstick challenge, chapstick kissing challenge, my lips have become a little dry. Yeah. I wonder if it was uh, vanilla extract on Straight out the oh, yeah. I didn't think about that because we did do, I did do uh, vanilla, which is fine. That burned my lips. I did some vanilla uh, extract and it tingled and burned and it felt like it exfoliate, good exfoliator. But um, that's probably what took off that layer of skin. I don't know. It did something. Or maybe I just kissed off the top layer of your skin. Yeah, maybe that's that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. So, um, gosh, time's gonna go by real fast today. I hope at work. Let's knock it out. Knock out the day. Find something fun to do at work. Cause it's a Saturday, so I wanna. Uh, I'll have to find me a project to do. I like to find little little things to do on Saturdays to make the day go by. At least today, if it's a short shift. Um. Was it next week or in two weeks we're gonna go to the Nutcracker Valley? I got tickets for that next week. Yeah, next Sunday. So it's not in the evening, but it's in the afternoon. For some reason, I kept thinking it was gonna be in the, in the evening, and I didn't, I don't know what I was thinking because I usually work on those days, um, the afternoon. Uh, and uh, I talked to my manager yesterday, and he said, "Why don't you just take the whole day off?" So I was happy about that. Oh, so, okay. So you got yeah, to I don't have to, because um, uh, I was trying to figure out how am I going to do that. 
because they're funny, you know, a lot of people are probably about taking days off on holidays and stuff, you know, holidays are approaching. And, um, but he said, it's okay, just have that as a day off instead of trying to get off. You know, he's extremely nice. I appreciate him so much. I do, I do. And so I think maybe we could do, um, maybe, I'm trying to figure out, do we want to do something afterwards or do something before? I don't know. I just wanted to make a whole day of it, but. I don't know, it might be a little bit too much. But I don't know, I was just thinking. I wanted to take take everybody out to eat. Jeez, I don't know about that. That's too much? A lot of folks were there. Seven people. Well, I don't know. You know unless you buy everybody up, how do you fry out? <laughs> so they buy everybody. Hey guys, I'm treating you guys. Value fries for everybody. You get a fry, you get a fry, and you yeah. get a fry. Hey, 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 no. You can have two. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I just wanted that's my Christmas gift. It's an expensive Christmas gift, but I always love the Nutcracker Ballet. I hope I don't fall asleep in. <laughs> Look, the ballets are you know, let me stop. <laughs> oh crazy. I love the ballet though. I mean I love the Nutcracker Ballet. It's my favorite. So I look forward to that. And um today, um we're gonna get down the Christmas tree tonight, hopefully. And we're gonna put up our Christmas tree too. At first, I was trying to figure out if I want to keep that little one as far as just letting that be our main Christmas tree because I don't know. But you know, I was thinking, I'm like, it's not like I'm gonna be doing all of the work. You're not gonna be doing any of the work. <laughs> the kids are gonna decorate it. I'm no, gonna put it up. I wanna decorate it. I want the kids to be surprised because they got to decorate on mine over the street. So. I want to decorate this tree, but I want it to be a surprise for them. So I figure when they come home tomorrow, they'll be like, oh, you know how surprised they get. And I want to do something a little bit different. So I'm thinking I want to do some ribbons. That's what I want to go to Target for or the craft store and find some really pretty ribbons to add some color to it. Our Christmas tree this morning. So, I mean, we'll do that. Maybe we can do that tonight. What do you think, dear? Any suggestions? Oh, I love putting up the Christmas tree. And our stockings, we got to get those. That's the end of my job right there, putting up the Christmas tree. And I also, like I like for you to, uh, what do you call it? When you do the sticks, not the sticks, when you feather it out, the tree and all, fluff it and stuff. I hate doing that part. I'm not a fan of it. But our tree, um, we do need to get a new tree eventually. That's the best time to get a Christmas tree. Okay, we'll see if we can get, get us one because that tree we've had for a many. It's on its last time. leg. Yeah, it is on its last leg. The fake needles look bushy. Yeah, and we bushy, have bushy. we have the kind that has the lights in it already, but Some sometimes don't they don't work. Yeah. This time I want to get a Christmas tree that does not have lights in it, so we can just change out wrap our own lights around it. We can always change out. I don't think you can do that. Well, you might, but most of the trees nowadays, they come with lights. Most of the trees now. Ooh. But you know what? I'm going to give a suggestion. I think they need to do an automatic Christmas tree that, that you know, puts itself together. Like, you know, like, like a gravitron. Grab a, grab a what do I mean? What am I trying to say? Like robotic Christmas tree. When you unplug, uh, when you hook it up, you take it out of the box, it just, all, all the things start moving like this and opening up and fixing itself. I'm, that would be the perfect Christmas tree because that is the one thing that a lot of times people hate and are, aren't necessarily good at is fluffing out the Christmas tree. So if they had like this automatic fluff button that you could hit on the Christmas tree, remote control, and it could just do all these different things. You can change the lights out. You know, it'd be a little bit more expensive, but it would be so awesome, you know, because you don't have to even do anything but just take it, it out of like the box. Christmas tree activate. Yeah, Christmas tree activate. <laughs> or Christmas tree roll out. Yeah, roll Christmas trees roll out. Exactly. So, especially... No. Auto tree roll out. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be so awesome. <laughs> and it has special effects, sounds, and, you know, all that to it. 
I think the guys would probably appreciate that even more so, huh? Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Oh my gosh. Come with different attachments. Look, Christmas tree just transforms, just steps. I want you over there, Christmas tree. <laughs> oh my God, that would be so awesome. Oh my God, yeah. I bet you, you know what? Great minds think alike. <laughs> I, you, I'm That'd sure so it's coming cool. to a, a store near you. Probably Target would be the first place that get it, and then of course Walmart. We'll see. I bet you. No, Walmart can't have this tree. Walmart, they got too much stuff. They can't have, this tree. They can't have they it. Can't have it. <laughs> they can't have it. <laughs> but you probably get it cheaper at Walmart. No. Yeah, you probably would. Only online. Yeah. Directly from China. Well, that would be interesting to see. Let me know what you guys think about that a Christmas tree that rolls itself out and. Hey. Oh. If if uh, we're going to Target, uh, or if we go on running errands, are we going home afterwards? Yeah. Are you going to change? Or I do not want to wear this. This is so not a flattering look. <laughs> and I, I should find me a long sleeve shirt, but I just have so many of these white shirts. It's like I'm tired of spending money on them. So I just put on a black little arm um, so more long versatile. sleeve. That way you can use yeah. it during the summer and spring. Exactly. Because you just don't know how many white shirts that I've gone through. And you got to constantly try to keep clean and all. So, yeah. And then khaki pants. I don't want to wear that out. So I'm going to, I think we should definitely go home. I can change clothes. And uh, maybe we can eat something. Uh, <laughs> But uh, thank you guys for tuning in today's uh, Vlogmas, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.